I'm taking you a little out of time. Let's head back to 2005. It started when they took Joseph's decks and vocals and his friends could tell he was pressed on the phone call. It's happened again. I was DJing for the mandem and ends, but police came through and snagged the event. My decks are missing. The way he was screaming the whole street down, you would have thought my brother had been sent to prison. Joseph was a DJ from Tottenham sides. When they took his decks, hope was lost in his eyes. This was the way he expressed himself. He never really did it for excess or wealth. But little he knew his Meridian crew had given him the clue for fixing his mood. During this time, a new movement was building. Only this time, the drive was fueled by the children. The genre was brutal and the songs were spiking. The storytelling was awfully grimy. And for anyone who loved to listen to rap and wanted to hear about what we did in the trap, this was a version that was British and black. Even after the shouting, he was still fuming. Every time I DJ, it feels like I'm losing. So from now on, I'm spitting and so are my friends. We're here to show you what's done on the ends. What's done on the block and heard in the borough and turn grey sentence into permanent colour. It helps Joseph and others discuss their fury, the violence around them and the bias from juries, the postcode wars, immigration problems and any other issue that plagued them often. Grime was something we could relate to. It allowed you to fight against people that hate you. And music is often a mystical presence that lives in the essence of a lyrical weapon. It helps unleash a rebellious spirit that can be artfully channeled into competitive lyrics. And when Joseph emceed with a head full of scorn, that was the day that Skepta was born. And when we couldn't find a way to go, we took black angst onto pirate radio. But isn't that what we've always done? Creating new things in the midst of adversity, regardless of what the cost was personally. The more authorities tried to stop it, the more they were fueling a wild rocket that ended up connecting all of the bedrooms. And 15 years on, our genre is accepted. When Skepta and Co started flying the flag, we saw people like us with our style and swag. Gritty videos outside the Jamaican shop with cheap special effects to make it pop. There's nothing flashy in the gutter is scrappy. We took the pieces that were stuck on the scrap heap to build a place, a healing space for young black Brits who were deeply enraged. When you walk through what we call the ends, there's an untapped pool of wealth in the district. But before we could touch on systemic issues, we needed a soundtrack for helping the victims to represent all of the selfless civilians that built communities forged on unity and that's why the spirit of Graham is true to me. No boxing gloves, words we used to spark. And it was black London boys who grew the art. Skepta is another example of black innovation from the back of the basement. Even when he was in the midst of a struggle, he still found a way to thrift and to hustle. So now when I see my man on live TV, I finally get to see someone like me.